Back with another video for you today. Today I'm excited about this review because it's the latest leather themed fragrance from Memo Paris called Moroccan Leather, this one right here. This is a Safferbon contributor review video. I'll review Moroccan Leather for you. Plus you'll have a chance at winning a full bottle of Moroccan Leather if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. I also want to mention that this bottle of Moroccan leather was sent to me for this review, but I specifically requested it because I knew that I was going to love this one because there was a dominant galbanum note in here along with iris and of course the leather. Plus I'm a, I've been a big fan of the Curs Nomads or the leather fragrances series from, um, from Memo Paris. So that is the reason why I requested it. This is a tester bottle and of course if you are a winner of the full bottle you will also receive a tester bottle like this. So what we have here is Memo Paris's Moroccan leather from the Curs Nomads collection. This is the sixth leather fragrance which also includes African leather, French leather, Irish leather, Italian leather, and of course Russian leather. This is the sixth uh, fragrance. So this was launched in 2018. The perfumer once again is Eleanor Massonet. She's created pretty much all, if, in fact all of the fragrances from uh, Memo Paris. This is an EDP Eau de Parfum concentration and a 75 ml bottle like this retails for $295. So for notes here in Moroccan leather, what we've got is mandarin, orange, ginger, cypress, ylang ylang, iris butter, orange blossom absolute, vetiver, fraction oil, ambrolix, galbanum resin, leather accord, styrax, tonka bean and musk. So uh, we've gone to various countries in the past with the Curs Nomads collection and then we also went to uh, Africa where Morocco is but now we're going right to Morocco for a Moroccan inspired leather fragrance. A few of my favorites from this collection is of course African leather, I absolutely love that one, and of course um, Italian leather and Russian leather. But here what we've got is Moroccan leather which kind of has similarities to two other of the leather fragrances in this collection uh, and those are Italian leather and Irish leather. Both of those fragrances including Moroccan leather has a very green vibe whereas Irish leather uses a mate note and you get the greenness from that note and Italian leather uses tomato leaf note and you get the greenness from that note. Here with this fragrance with Moroccan leather I think the greenness about this fragrance comes from the galbanum note. So the fragrance upon initial spray starts off with a spicy citrus type note uh, from uh, the top. Immediately the uh, galbanum kind of pretty much takes over for me. It has a, a very green slightly pungent resinous note that my nose picks up instantly. It's one of those notes that I have come to love and really appreciate in perfumery and it does have classic touches to uh, the, the way it smells. I love this about this fragrance that is one of the reasons why I was excited about this one because I find that Galbanum's kind of made a comeback and a lot of different perfumes are using this note. Um, the most prominent for me for Galba Galbanum when it comes to Galbanum fragrances is Chanel number no. 19. That is when I first smelled it and at first I was not really into uh, that fragrance, now I'm absolutely head over heels for the, that fragrance including that dominant galbanum note. And for me this is pretty much the galbanum along with uh, vetiver of course. So it kind of goes in two directions, it goes in a bit of a feminine direction and it also go, goes a bit masculine with the vetiver here. Uh, you've got kind of two things happening and you have both those notes at the top pretty dominant. You've also got the leather, the leather of course comes through when the fragrance is pretty much dried down. Uh, it's mostly about the, the leather fragrance with musks and uh, a few uh, woody style uh, notes in the base. But uh, at the top you're also experiencing this powdery iris note which is also another one of the dominant players in this uh, fragrance. So it is a unique creation overall with uh, the fact that it has this galbanum note but 
it does kind of hint at a few of their previous releases, as I mentioned, the, the two Italian leather and Irish leather. More so the Italian leather than Irish leather, but still the, the three of these fragrances have this very green-like quality to them, which I really, really like. Love the way green notes come through in fragrances and mixed or uh, connected with the leather in the fragrance in the base. It's a pretty much a match made in heaven for me. It's a great release if you like galbanum, if you like vetiver, if you like iris, if you like, of course, leather. Uh, Moroccan leather is definitely one for you to try from the Curse Nomads collection by Memo Paris. But if you don't know where to go to test this fragrance out, we do have a full bottle giveaway, as I said. Um, to participate in the giveaway, there's a link to Saffler Bond in the info box. Click that link, go there, and follow their rules. And then come back here to my channel and let me know if you've sampled Moroccan leather. Are you familiar with Memo Paris? Are you familiar with the Curse Nomads collection? And if so, I'm sure you've heard of African leather. It's a very, very popular popular one, but have you sampled any of the other leather fragrances in this collection? Do let me know. Put a comment down. Let's get a conversation started. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.